I am the terror, the LPs in the night. I am the moldy cheese in the back of your fridge. I am Dark Utter Cow. Moo! I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the winged scourge that pecks at your nightmares. I am Darkwing Duck! Moo! Welcome everybody to Darkwing Duck for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I am Cow's Crazy. So I guess for this LP I am Dark Utter Cow? <laughs> Dark Utter Cow! When there's trouble you call CC. CC, yeah, Cow's Crazy. Ooh. When there's trouble, you call cows crazy. Yeah, daring cow of mystery. <laughs> Anyways, this was my favorite Disney character when I was younger. I loved Darkwing Duck. I loved his cape. I loved his hat. I loved his gun. I loved the enemies. I didn't really like this organization that he worked for, but I guess that's why they put it into the game. Just to piss me off. But whatever. Once again, we need your help, Darkwing. A mysterious crime wave has swept over the city. We believe these crimes are the work of that secret criminal organization, Foul. You must put an end to their fiendish plans. Launchpad will brief you with the details of your mission. Remember to collect all the stolen diamonds and gold bars. Good luck, Darkwing. And no, you don't have to collect all the diamonds and gold bars. They're there for points. And points don't matter. So, um, if they're there, they're there. But we're not going to have our way for them. Um, this game is a really good game. I would compare it to like a Mega Man um, style because you do get to pick your thing, but you don't really earn um, power ups from each boss. So you can do them in any order, it doesn't really matter um, where you go. I like to just go across the screen left to right. And Launchpad is the only time he appears, his daughter doesn't appear, the neighbors don't appear. Some of the best enemies from the TV show don't appear in this game. And it says Foul was behind us, and uh, there were obviously some criminals in this game that were not part of Foul. And uh, they're in the game. So, why my favorite one, Nega Duck, which was basically Darkwing, just Nega. <laughs> He's from the Nega universe and stuff. He would be in a yellow and black kind of cape, and it was cool. He was just. I guess he was supposed to be his Joker, because, well, Darkwing's supposed to be Batman, right? You know, he's all dark and mysterious. But anyways, I'm talking too much. Let's get on with the game. This is the great city of St. Canard. Quacker Jack and his henchmen are blocking the construction of the new bridge. You better stop him before someone gets hurt. Do you want to go there? Yes. Yes, I do. And his plane wasn't all purple either. I'm a real stickle. I'm a real stick in the mud for the uh, for detail, you know. And he is Darkwing Duck. And you can jump, and you can hang off of things, and you can well shoot while hanging too. You can duck. You can block with your cape. And that's basically what you can do. And you get these items like this. TG, which stands for the Thunder Gas. It's just thunder, but yet it's clearly a lightning bolt. Whatever. Anyways, you get 10 points worth. I don't mean that's 10 shots, it's points. But anyways, there's your diamond. There's 100 points. Oh yeah, we're on the board with 100 points. Right, anyways, I'll show you what this gas thing does. This one's going to shoot out on a diagonal. See? And it takes two... Hey! Oh my god, I just lost three bits of my health already. Just trying to, like, show things off. Like, he hit me three times. Like, your invincibility frames are not... Why is he not grabbing this? Oh, well thank you for the full health. There we go, that's that's your medical case for full health. Um, we want to jump across these things here. Because this will keep us up in the air for your free life. This game isn't that hard. Um, the final boss I found the hardest, and for years and years and years, I would always get there, and I could never do it. But now I know. I know differently. It took, I don't think I had played this game in maybe eight or nine years, and then I recently picked it up not long ago, thinking I might want to LP this game, but I knew I couldn't beat it. But then I picked it up again, and I just played, and I played, and I played, and I finally figured it out, what I had to do. 
and uh, I beat it, and I was so happy. It took me 20 years to beat this friggin' game. Roll it, bat, get away from me. Pow, 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 pow. So you just shoot things. I don't even know most of these enemies from, like, the show. It's just whatever. But the level design's alright. Like, the levels aren't that hard and stuff like that. And they're kind of fun to play. Oh no! He didn't grab it! Oh no! I can't believe he didn't grab it. Sometimes, things like that happen. I am Dark Utter Cow. Yeah, watch out, these things can kill you in like one big shot. They can just fall down on you. But I used to watch this show all the time. And when I get to some of my more favorite bosses and maybe me memories from the show. But they could have put more things into the game to be honest with you. And there was no sequel ever made. Um, things like, oh well, I don't think I want that. That's a heavy gas. And yeah, I saw the health thing, but I already had full health, so I didn't really need it, did I? So you can block like that, if you want. I don't think you can block everything, though. But you can block some projectiles. I think there are some gases that are shot back at you and stuff you can't block. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum. You got these little slugs. The only way to get them is to duck down low. Remember, you don't have to kill everything. Sometimes it's nice. Oh, well, see, he's blocking. You have to get through there, so. Do you know what? We're gonna go like this. No! He can block even from above? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I don't like this. See how he can block with his head? Shot him right in the head and he can still block. That's the end of the level right there. And we got Quacker Jack! He was. He liked to play with his toys, Quacker Jack, and his uh, banana friend up there. I forget what his banana friend was called. Oh man, his banana friend's obviously trying to give me the slip here. This boss is not that hard. You just basically have to f avoid the bananas from above. And as Quacker Jack, you gotta get down there. And as he goes up and down, you can shoot. Try not to go up to the top level with him, but sometimes you have to. But that's where the spikes are. And I guess that's to make sure you don't go after the banana man. Cause the banana man is all, uh oh, uh oh, whoa. Just keep popping up and down, up and down, and you'll get him. Just stay away from the banana man. Oh no, banana man! Say no to Banana Man, Banana Man, Banana Man. Are you a Chiquita Banana? Chiquita? Hello? Chiquita Banana? What kind of banana are you? I like the banana stickers. They put banana stickers on them. It's always fun to get the banana with the banana sticker on it and go, Yes, I'm eating the one that they labeled eating the banana that they labeled. Well done. Ooh, look at all those points! They're so irrelevant. If only they could make points fun again. And they could! They could have done it with... Oh, I'm not even gonna get into it. Could have done it with Mario, Wii... But no, they didn't. They could have made points fun again and had like an online leaderboard. But no. No, they didn't. So whatever. Anyways, let's just get into the next level, why don't we, huh? Wolf Duck and his henchmen are rampaging through the center of the city. But be careful, Wolf Duck goes berserk when the moon comes out. Do you want to go there? Yes, yes we do. Now Wolf Duck wasn't even that big. I Maybe he was in one episode, maybe two. I... I don't know how he got into this video game. Like seriously, he shouldn't be in this video game. He just really shouldn't. Oh well, whatever. In the game. And like, the the level, other than the, being the boss, the levels don't really seem to be designed for any one specific boss. Like, I would have no idea that that 
last level there was a Quacker Jack level by going through it. Sure, it's designed as the bridge, which is more of a, uh, more based on the city itself, I guess, which is all right. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, crap. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Should've saw that coming. How many lives do you get? Well, I still got three, because I did pick up some free lives, which is always good. Oh, boy, the fire! Try to stay out of everybody's way. Walking on, uh... I don't think... I don't... See... Oh, see, those are clearly spikes, but yet a rubber tire is able to go over top of the spikes. You can't, but a tire made out of rubber can touch the spikes and live. Whoa. Almost got shot. We're gonna go after that health cannon. Oh no, 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 we want the free life! <gasps> you know, rare it is for enemies to drop a free life? I'll tell you that. That's big time rare. Now, we got the arrow gas over there. Uh, which is what E-A-G stands for, arrow gas. But we don't want to go and replace it with another gas. Because you can only have one kind of gas. Well, special gas come out of your gun. As for me. I got one's kind of gas coming out of me, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> it's the methane. Yeah. Now, I never understood what the 220 up there was for. I guess it's supposed to represent a clock of some sort on a building, but... I don't... I don't get it. It's kind of weird. But anyways, here's where the arrow gas can come in handy. Uh-oh. It's another f turtle time. He shoots his whole shell at you. <gasps> no, no! He, oh boy, he almost bumped me down into the... Well, that, that's always nice. But here we can go and... See, you gotta hit that bottom. He can stand on top of your arrow and jump up. And then, of course, he respawns. How... how nice. I'll be glad to see you again, Mr. Turtle! Mr. Turtle Turtle! Ooh, it's a balloon. A balloon?! <laughs> it's a green balloon, too. <laughs> you want a green balloon reminds me of? Oh, boy. I'm gonna tell another story here. <laughs> when I was in, like, the 6th or 7th grade, I had this friend. She was, uh, she told me that her neighbor, that she, two free lives to just in there. But anyways, yeah, her neighbor used, she was telling me why she's not friends with her neighbor anymore, which doesn't go to her at school. But anyways. Oh, this is a gas refill, so if you have six, now I got 16, see? So that fills up your, the number of shots you get with your gas. But anyways, I'm trying to tell a story here about the green balloon. Anyways, yeah, she's not friend with, with her neighbor anymore, she's telling me why. Anyways, uh, apparently, she was invited to like a party or something of hers, and um, <laughs> for some reason, they they filled a balloon up with like with like snot like people blew their nose into it and stuff and uh, then they they gave it to the birthday girl which is now her ex friend and all those boogers inside and then they popped the balloon and like it went all over her and like <laughs> apparently she blames her entirely for it no one else just her that's who she blames for it and, uh, I guess it didn't help that she helped spread the nickname of Booger Balloon. <laughs> Everybody's calling her Booger Balloon, and I guess this might not be so good, and, you know, it, it's funny looking back on it, but, you know, people are really sensitive now to bullying and all that stuff, and people take it really far now, and it's not good, and maybe some people are just a little too sensitive, but people do take it for too far, too, but back then... I don't know, it really was different back then, it was just... It's just booger balloon, it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's a little booger in a balloon. Anyways, here's Wolf Duck. He's invincible when the moon is not covered. Well, I mean when the moon, yeah, is not covered. So when the moon goes away, you can, yeah, hold it. Invincible when the moon is not, yes, not covered, that makes sense. I thought I was saying something else. So when the moon is covered, that is the only time you can shoot him. And all you gotta really do is bounce back and forth. See? He'll come flying at you and you run away. It's not... It's 
it's not rocket science here, you know? The hardest thing probably to avoid is the box that he spawns out of nowhere. Even that's not that difficult. Like, come on, I just shot it. Maybe you're in a wrong spot or something that might hit you, but honestly, it really shouldn't. Look at that. Just like that, he's down for the count. Job well done. Anyways, that's what the green balloon made me think of. Was booger balloon. Thirteen, seven hundred points. Where should we go now, DW? I got a good idea. Why don't we take a break? And we'll try to do the next level in the next episode. Until then, everybody. I've been Cal's Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, move!